What's up? It's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to share with you kind of a small business stationery haul. I've really recently got into like small business handmade stationery supplies. Um, I take a lot of notes at work and I'm just like constantly writing on scratch paper and I was like why would I bother using just plain paper when I could be writing on something cute. So I went to Etsy and have got quite a few things to show you. I had a fantastic experience with all of these sellers so I'm going to talk about them a little bit but I will also link all of their shops below. Okay so I will start with, I've actually made a couple orders recently from Unicorn Eclipse. Um, they actually have a, like a regular website too as well as an Etsy page and sometimes there's different stuff on it so I will link them both. Um, a couple of the things I have already brought to work so I will post photos of what I got from there. Also just a note I am recording this pre-Halloween so all of the holiday stuff I will be able to use this year. I'm trying to gather this all together. I didn't organize this before I hit record. One thing I love um, about Unicorn Eclipse is a lot of these sellers too. They send like little extra goodies but they always send a postcard usually with a discount code on it but it's of more of their artwork. So this was actually the postcard that came. We're gonna play the autofocus game. Um, I'll include any photos if the focus isn't great but this is some of their newer artwork that I actually loved and so I was so excited that it came with this postcard but they have sent other ones in the past as well. I also got this bookmark. Okay we're just we're focusing over here. Why? And then I got this notepad with graph paper and it has snowflakes on it. I didn't want to do something super Christmassy mainly because I already have one. Um, we have like a free table at work that is people just put stuff on it for anyone to take and um, I found a Christmas pad out there so I have one but I wanted one just for like the winter season. I also got I think two other notepads and a couple of stickers that I turned into magnets if you've seen my like DIY sticker magnets video. It's very fun, very addicting. Uh, I've, I've bought a couple more that will probably become magnets in here. Um, the next ones I got from Little Jaybird Studio. They are UK based so this took a while to get here. Um, they also sent like just a cute little business card that has a little design on it. But I got two of these stickers. Um, I've had this one that says bad bitch with bad joints saved on Etsy for a while. And I got this one to put on my wheelchair. And then I love purple so when I saw they had purple ones I got the one that says bad bitch with a chronic illness to be a magnet for my office at school. Oh, these were hiding. These were a couple more um, from Unicorn Eclipse. Some little extras that they sent. There's like a bagel, some bagels that say everything I've ever dreamed of and then just their little business card. Okay, the next one I got, um, I knew I'd eventually run into one that I didn't know how to pronounce the name of. Um, it is Miss you pacey you yeah okay that's just um I'm doing my best I'm sorry okay so this one I was actually stoked um I love this artist's designs I have had this sticker saved probably since last Halloween I 
I just really loved it and I'm not it's kind of big to be a magnet like I don't have anything this big to go on so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet but I just I had to get it this year but they sent multiple postcards there is this one that is just a print this one is like the thank you card it was like a patreon reward I guess that they send out also in regular orders and then this one that like has their patreon info on it so I got like some art prints along with the sticker which was really cool and not that shops have to do that at all but I do really appreciate it because I know for some people supporting small businesses a lot like this can be difficult because all of this was incredibly affordable but the shipping cost made my purchase like double what it would have normally been and I just I know for some people that's not always the most affordable. I completely understood and I was like I this stuff is gonna make me really happy and it's gonna be useful so I was okay with it um, but it's not something I do all the time for that reason so again not that shops have to include extra stuff but I do really appreciate it because when you're buying a three dollar sticker that has eight dollar shipping that makes it a little bit more worth it if there's like a cute business card thrown in or just something like that. Okay, the next one. I'm a huge Bloodborne nerd. Um, and so Nat Ella Draws um, had these. I really want to get a figure of her one day, but those are very expensive. Um, next for Halloween, this was so hard to cut down. I'm um, from Lydia Jean Art. I just started following her recently. This is the notepad I got. I had a hard time not spent like wanting to spend like a hundred dollars on just stuff from her um their shop is like it's just so cute and um is this the same person no um i also got this adorable little haunted house sticker and then this little keep it spooky postcard this came with this one um from chicken scribble shop i got this like fall pumpkins notepad and it came with like it was very fancy wrapping and it came with like a couple little bags there was like a little bag of candy and then this little bitty like cake eraser that i just thought was very adorable and you can't see it all but i will put in a better shot of that I was only going to buy one uh, set of Halloween stuff, but I could not resist. From Peachy Apricot, I got this little spooky notepad, the little candy corn in the witch hat. I, I died. I was like, I have to own that. So I got this notepad which actually came with a little mini sticker set, which I love. And then just like thank you card with their Instagram and stuff too. So I'm, I'm set on Halloween notepads, especially for like the next couple of years. I Part of why I felt fine about like paying so much and shipping for this too is like, while I do use notepads a lot, it'll probably like if I'm just using one of these in the Halloween season. It's gonna be a couple years before I run through it, so. Not that I need to justify stationary purchases. So then I thought I was done, uh, and then I found two more things that I had to have. Um, if you don't know, I'm an artist, and I also love bunnies, and so I saw this artist bunny notepad, and so I was just like, I have to own that. And it just came with like a cute little bunny. 
business card and then finally last but not least um oh that was from the crowned rabbit was the funny thing um finally from onyx v i got let me scoot it can i scoot it down this happy little pop tart sticker what i actually thought was especially cool about onyx v is i messaged their shop uh, maybe four or five days ago it just it wasn't marked as shipped on Etsy and so I couldn't track it which they said I think that's because they shipped it in a regular envelope so it wasn't like in a tracking package um but they were like oh it, it was, should have arrived you know a day or two ago and um they said you know if it doesn't arrive by you know over the weekend whatever um, they actually said to let them know and they would send me another one, which they didn't really have to do that. That was really nice to offer that. Luckily, it showed up a day or two later, um, so that was fine. But I just thought that that was really nice that I wasn't even asking for that, but they offered that as an option. So that was really cool. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these small businesses. Um, like I said, I'll link all their shops down below. This was really fun. Um, I just, I was getting so excited about all the little, like, cute things that I get to write on and stick on stuff, and it just gave me a lot of joy, and so I am looking forward to, you know, purchasing from shops like this in the future. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. I post videos two to three times a month. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.